according to cr research 42% people stopped using a subscription service but were still paying for it in this video i'll show you how you can stop paying for unwanted recurring subscription services and save some money for your business we'll use a subscription management tool called subly to do this so what is subly it is a subscription management tool that you can use to organize your recurring payments and subscriptions you can use it to track your bill payments or saas application recurring payments the best thing i like about subly is it's simple and intuitive to use you need to sign up for a free account at subly you get 10 subscriptions you can manage with the free account when you log into a subly account you will see the subly dashboard it's quite simple and you have on the left side subscriptions reports team and settings all the subscription that you have you will see on this dashboard you can filter them by category by payment method we'll come back to this when we add our subscriptions so just i'm giving you an overview of what you get when you use subly you can sort it out by different methods like name cost due date you have different views like grid and list you can see your recurring expenses that you might have for your business so we'll come back to the settings so this is just an overview let's go to the settings of subly first you can set up a workspace name you can set up the default currency and format so here it's showing united states dollar default you can change it to a local currency this will be the base currency when you're adding subscription you can change the currency based on your subscription in my case i am using indian rupee inr as a base currency but when i do subscriptions i have to sometimes pay in usd and i can enter it in usd when i'm adding the subscriptions the date and time format time zone we have this categories this is also useful to filter out your subscriptions you have the existing category the county advertising software there are tons of categories you can choose from or you can create your own category as the payment methods by default you have paypal credit card you can add your own as well for the notifications you can get email notifications by subly it also integrates with discord slack telegram you can use those for your uh, notifications i don't use them i only use the email notification you have the option to get a monthly email summary of all your uh, subscriptions you can set up projects with subly we'll come back to this later because this is not available in the free option when you pay for subly you can have the option of creating projects you can integrate subly with telegram slack discord to receive your notifications like i mentioned and you can integrate with dropbox to get your subscriptions files into that we are back into the main dashboard and into subscriptions let's add our first subscription now there are two ways to add subscription either we can log into our subly app and click on this add subscription or there is a chrome extension so when you are on any website where you have signed up for a subscription you can use the chrome app to add that subscription so it's quite convenient to do it that way so i'll show you both the ways of doing it you can add a new subscription in the subly app by clicking on this add subscription button so if it is an already existing service like the netflix so it will already be available it so if you add this it will already fill some details like the website name the icon but if it doesn't exist you can add one from scratch by using this add from scratch option so suppose we go for our adding our favorite subscription service only fans so this won't exist over here so let us add it from scratch so click on add from scratch here you give it the name only fans choose a category in this case entertainment the website the project when you are on a free plan you only have one project or say like that you can pick an icon again in the paid version or you can choose a color you can say like some tags i don't use this if you want to use this you can use it i find the categories are sufficient enough for filtering in, so i don't use this tag options you enter the cost how much are you paying either recurring one time so you enter it here suppose it's or dollars 99 cents you enter your recurring or one time pick up payment method credit card how often are you paying this what's the recurring period for the subscription so if it's every month then 
enter the next payment date suppose it's second feb 2024 you can enter the first payment enter date i don't use these options then set the reminder so how many days before the payment date do you want to get reminded for this you will get an email notification based on which date you select suppose i want it 5 days before the next payment once i've done filling all the details save it now you can see it's on the dashboard as one of our subscriptions Let's add another subscription using the Chrome extension method. You can find the Chrome extension by clicking on this icon on the right and get the extension. It will go to the Chrome store and you can download and install the extension. I've already done this so it looks like this and when I click on it it tells me to log in to use Subdi. Let's add another subscription using the Chrome extension. Let's add a tool which everyone loves to hate. It's Ahrefs. I went to the website. Suppose I paid for the subscription and I'm done. Click on the Subli Chrome extension. The details for this app or website are already filled. Like Ahrefs name, the website, pick the category, SEO project, personal billing, ninety nine dollars recurring payment method, credit card every month in second February twenty twenty four. I want to get reminded five days before the next payment, and then click Add Subscription. Subscription has been added. Now, when I go to my Subly dashboard, refresh it, I see the two subscriptions that I added by both methods: the Unifan subscription and the Ahrefs subscription. You can filter this out by category or payment method, which will be useful when you have a lot of subscriptions and you need to look through some of them. You can delete the subscription by choosing these options and delete. I don't recommend deleting it. I prefer to moving it to inactive because you have a record of which subscriptions you had subscribed to and maybe you later on stop the subscription. So you can move them to inactive in that case. They will be archived for your reference. Another useful thing that I find is this view. You have the grid view that we are currently seeing. You also have the list view. which is quite useful you get more details in these columns you can see everything in a compact view you can also add room or columns based on your needs and you can bulk edit which is also a good thing so if i select all of them and bulk actions i can do a quick edit and change the category or project or payment method for all of them or i could delete them or move them to inactive so When you have lots of subscription, this becomes quite useful. Now the reminder we saw that you get email reminder. You can set them up how many days before you want. I think it's a little basic. It gets the job done, and I don't have any issues with that. But some people might need more customization or more more options like getting it via SMS or more details on which date and time you want to set. how many reminders you want to get and stuff so that all options are not there in subli so how do i save money using subli i do it two ways either i find that okay i don't need this tool a google update tank my website i need to cut budget so i need to stop my ahrefs recurring subscription that's one way i do it i stop the subscription i come to the subli app and move it to inactive the other is i forgot about the subscription and it's a yearly subscription and i get a message from subli by email that okay this is going to be renewed in 5 days so that's a good thing because i save my yearly uh, subscription fee i stop the subscription and then i move it to inactive in the subli app you get some basic reporting in subli where it will show you your monthly average expenses or which is the most expensive subscription you have On the affordable one, and it shows your projection. Like in the next six months, twelve months, how much is it you are going to spend on the subscriptions? I don't use this option, but for some people, it might be good to know that how much is the spending going to be for my business. It shows you the upcoming payments as well. So something good to see in a view that if you don't need something, you can immediately stop it instead of wasting your money on it. You cannot get the reports of your existing subli subscription from here, which I found a bit strange. But what you can do is go to the settings and then at 
the bottom of the general setting you see the subscription data so you can get a csv file of all of your subscriptions you don't have the option to create projects in the free version but you have that in the paid so i have a paid account for subly i'll log into that and show you how it looks and what you can do with it i've logged into my paid subly's account these are all of my subscriptions you can see a lot of things are there can i will agree to you or list you the difference with the paid is you can create projects in my case you see two projects business personal and you have the option create project if you create project you can enter the project name you can enter a budget i'll show you how it looks so set say so temporary project i set a budget of 1000 usd you can set a period if you want how much time or for which duration you are setting the budget is it monthly or yearly so let's say it's for the month create project you can start adding subscriptions to this project you switch between the projects from here and add the subscriptions it shows you the budget on the right side so if you exceed the budget by adding a subscription it will get marked in red suppose i add a subscription big subscription and the subscription cost me 1500 dollars per month the budget got marked in red because i am exceeding my budget by adding the subscription another important visible factor you can see if you are overspending i find a project useful to differentiate between my personal and business subscription so if i am using netflix amazon prime i can put it into my personal projects something like ahrefs or freeze or something which i am using for my business i put into my business projects makes it easy to differentiate when i'm looking at what i'm spending on my subscriptions and i can take action accordingly so how much the subly cost you have the free plan you can continue using it for lifetime but you can only set up to 10 subscriptions in that and you have 500 mb of storage i don't think storage become that important you can store lot of stuff the problem is you have 10 subscriptions so if you are someone cheap skate with only 10 or less subscriptions it might work for you If you are running a business and you want it for setting your personal subscription as well, you will need the pro plan, which is thirty nine dollars every year. There are monthly options, but you save a bit of money, like two months. You get free with the pro plan annual. You get unlimited subscriptions. You can have team members. I'm not sure who uses this, but you can have team members also looking at your subscriptions or managing your subscriptions. Maybe if you have VA, this might be useful. and you have the projects option which i mentioned you also have integrations in the pro version if you are if you really you in discord slack and you want your notifications over there i hope you will be able to save a lot of money by getting rid of unwanted subscription using the subly app i hope you don't become a statistic of that 42% people who forget about subscriptions and keep paying You'll find a link to Subly in the description below. Post a comment if you have any questions. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I share lots of software tips that can help save money for your business as well as help your business overall. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.